All right, grade nines. Here we are again with another example. Now, in this case, let's take a look what it says. It says 122 divided by r is equal to 3. So on the left side, we have 122 divided by r. On the right side, we have 3. Now, we're also told that in this case here, the variable cannot equal 0. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this. This question is actually easier than we than, than you might realize. Okay, so I have 122 divided by r. So 122 divided by r. So in this case here, I'm actually going to get rid of the r. How do I get rid of the r? Well, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to multiply this side by r. And remember the rule. What I do to one side, I do to the other. If I multiply this side by r, I'm going to multiply this side by r. So we go back to the left side, the r's cancel out. And what are we left with? It's just simply 122. And what do we have on the right side? It's just simply 3r. Now we remember what to do from here. I want to isolate the variable. That means i got to get rid of the 3. And the 3 multiplies the r, so the opposite of multiplying is division, so we're going to divide this side by 3. 3's here cancel out, leaves me with r. But what do I have on the right side, left side? Well, if on the right side, I divide by r 3, that means on the left side, I have to divide by 3. And there's our answer. Our answer is simply 122 over 3. That's in fraction form. Or I could put this in uh, into mixed number form. As a mixed number, that would be 40 and 2 thirds. Or if I wanted as a decimal, I could go 40 and it would be 0.6, repeating, equal to r. All of these are correct. So now, uh, let's take a look. The question also says to verify. So let's verify this. So I'm going to write up my equation again. 122 over r is equal to 3. Line under the equal sign because I want the two sides, the left side and the right side, to equal. So we've got 122 divided by r. I can take any one of these and substitute it into r over here. So maybe for what we'll say, we'll take the decimal. So I'm going to take 122 divided by 40.6 repeating. And if I do that on my calculator, I'm going to get an answer that's something like 3.002 something. Now, is that close to equaling 3? Absolutely. So the two sides, we would say, are balanced. Yeah, we're off maybe by uh, some decimal places, but that's okay. All right, another way we can do this is I'm going to take this, I'll erase this, okay, and we'll try it doing in fraction form. So I got 122 divided by r, but this time I'm going to use this here. I'm going to say 122 divided by 122 over 3. So now we're dividing fractions. This is the same thing as saying 122 divided by 122 divided by 3. Remember, if this is fractions, the number by itself as a fraction would so just be 1. And if I'm dividing fractions, I have to use the reciprocal. So, so this would look like this. The reciprocal of 122 over 3 is 3 over 122. Okay. Now, we should know what to do here. Okay. If I take a look, I know that if I do my math here, these will cancel out. And now I just got what I'm left with is 3 over 1, or just simply 3. On the left side, I have 3. Guess what I have on the right side? 3. So the 2 are balanced. So this is one way to do it. You can probably you, you probably want to use the decimals. It might be a little bit easier that have to work with fractions, but at least you know what to do with the fractions. Okay, let's take a look at our example B. So let me get rid of this work. Let's, oops, I didn't mean to get rid of all of it. I just want to get rid of this my annotations. So let's take a look at example B. Example B says 2a over 3 is equal to 4a over 5 plus 7. Now, this looks complicated, but really, 
it isn't. It's the same thing as working with fractions. Now, what I'm going to do here, and as we do some math, we find out there's more than one way to do it. So in this case here, um, I'm going to just work with fractions. I could change these to decimals and work with them in decimal form, but I'm going to work with them in fraction form. The process is still the same. I need to group my variables together, group my like terms together. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this term, 4a over 5, I'm going to take it over here. So that means I have to get rid of it on this side, on the right side. So in order to get rid of it, it's going to look something like this, 4a over 5 minus 4a over 5. And then I still have a plus 7, and I know these will cancel out. And then what do I have over here? Then on the left side, it's going to look like this. 2a over 3 minus 4a over 5. And so now my equation, I know on the left right side it's uh, the 4a minus over 5 cancels out. And so now uh, my equation is just simply 2a over 3 minus 4a over 5 is equal to 7. Okay, because they're in fractions got to work at with them like fractions. Okay. So I'm running out of a little bit of room, so I'm going to add another page. So just bear with me. Okay. Uh, and now my equation is 2a over 3 minus 4a over 5 is equal to 7. Okay. Because they're in fractions, I'm going to make my 7 as a fraction. 7 as a fraction is just simply 1. So if I take a look at my denominators now, I've got a 3, a 5, and a 1. So I need all these denominators to be the same. And the lowest common denominator amongst all of these is 15. So I'll put a 15, 15, and 15. And I'll put an equal sign there as well. So what do I have to do to make the 3 into 15? Well, I'm going to times this side by 5. And there is what I do to one side, I do to the other, so then this would be 5 uh, times the top. And over here, I'll get 10a. On this side, I'm going to times this by 3, then I'll times that by 3, and then I'm going to get a 12a. Over here, I'm going to times this by a 15, times that by a 15, and I'm going to get 105. And I'll put my minus sign in between. So once the denominators are the same, I just work with the top. So I don't need to worry about this anymore. I just do the top here. And the top is 10a minus 12a is equal to 105. That's it. Now, you guys should know what to do from here. right? So I can simplify these two. 10a minus 12a. Well, that's going to give me a negative 2a. And on the other side, I have 105. Remember what to do. I'm going to isolate this variable. So we're going to divide this side by negative 2. The negative 2's cancel out. Leaves me with a. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. That means this side, I divide by negative 2. So 105 divided by negative 2, that's simply negative 52.5. There's our answer. Now, I'm sure at this point you know how to verify. Okay. So we're going to stop there. There's another example for this lesson I'm going to send to you guys, uh, or we'll do it in a, uh, another following video. But just look at that. Look it over. I'm going to give you guys some questions. It'll be in an email. Uh, give, it, uh, give it a try. Okay, and you know how to get a hold of me. Okay. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Look forward to the next video. Bye, guys.